to all hitters. Righty and lefty. Jordan drives one to right field. Going back. Hanniger, it's over his head and off the wall. <laughs> one two pitch is crushed down the right field line and into the second deck. Run. Alvarez. Has he done it again? Deep to center field. Yes, he has. Jordan Alvarez. In the basketball world, the Air Jordan is the most iconic sneaker because his airness, Michael Jordan, had the innate ability to seemingly fly through the air and make kids feel they could do it too. In baseball, a new superstar has emerged in Houston, nicknamed Air Jordan, because he launches balls in the air and to the bleachers with one of the purest swings seen in recent memory. Yes, Jordan Alvarez is one of the new faces of baseball. This is the reason why for me, he is considered the 2.0 of David Ortiz. In this video, we will discuss his difficult road to playing in the MLB, his lifestyle, and net worth. Stick around to find out what opposing fans do to mock his success. Number eight. Jordan Ruben Alvarez was born on June 27, 1997. Alvarez was a child star on the diamond in Cuba. He was just a shy teen with lots of room to grow when he first spoke up about his big league dreams. His father, Augustin, took them to heart and they worked together to make them come true. In late 2014, Augustin, along with his wife, Mylen, and youngest son, Yonder, left Cuba on an exploratory mission to Santiago, Dominican Republic, in search of a baseball program to train his oldest boy. In the Dominican Republic, Augustin found former White Sox minor league hitting coach, Aldo Marrero, who had a reputation for developing young international players, mainly prospects from Cuba, with a knack for turning good hitters into great ones. Marrero and Jordan spent a lot of time working hard and getting better, but it was difficult to get the scouts to take a shot at Alvarez initially. Scouts thought Alvarez looked lazy and wasn't athletic enough. They said he didn't have enough power to be a corner outfielder. They told him he had a good bat, but they had no position or that they had no money. Yes, Jordan had many doubters and heard it all. Eventually, the White Sox, Mariners, Rangers, and Yankees were the only teams to invite Alvarez to their academies in the Dominican Republic for full workouts. Alvarez later participated in two open showcases with the International Prospect League, an organization that showcases prospects and games, but the team never generated much buzz. In 2016, a frustrated Marrero partnered with agents Barry Praver and Scott Shapiro of Magnus Sports to expand his reach. Alvarez met with immigration officials in Haiti, where he had established residency. While there, he bumped into current Astros teammate Yuli Gurriel and his little brother, Blue Jays outfielder Lourdes Gurriel Jr. The brothers had just defected from Cuba and were secretly working on their paperwork. The brothers asked to keep their meeting a secret, and Alvarez agreed. Scouts from six teams watched Alvarez work out in Florida in early March. Later in the month, representatives from every team attended an open trout at San Diego Spring Training Complex in Arizona. Finally, teams started to see Jordan's hard work paying off. Despite interest from the Astros at the time, the Dodgers made an offer that he could not turn down. Number seven. In August 2016, the Dodgers, in need of relief pitching, traded Alvarez to the Astros for Josh Fields before he even played a single game in the minors. The Dodgers got hoodwinked in this deal, and Dodgers president of baseball operations, Andrew Friedman, would later acknowledge that trading Alvarez was a mistake and admitted, I obviously wish I would have said yes to other names the Astros asked for before him. There are rumors that Friedman felt the Astros wanted Yadier and Jordan Alvarez. <laughs> Oops. Alvarez made his professional debut in 2016 with the Dominican Summer League Astros, where he spent the rest of the year, batting 341 with a 974 OPS in 16 games. In 2017, he starred with the Quad City River Bandits and was promoted to the Buies Creek Astros during the season. In 90 total games between the River Bandits and Astros, he batted a 304 average with 12 home runs and 69 RBIs and 335 at bats and was selected to play in the 2017 All Star. Star Futures game. After starring in the minor leagues in 2018, Jordan got the call that baseball players dream of. He was going to the show. This is a guy that wanted that. He wanted that pressure. He wanted to be in the big lights. He wanted to have the tough at bats. He sure has shown it. And this is the reason why for me, he is considered the 2.0 of David Ortiz. 
On June 9, 2019, he made his Major League debut against the Baltimore Orioles. Jordan went one for three with a two-run home run in his debut. In the following game, Alvarez again homered, this time versus Matt Albers of the Milwaukee Brewers. He became the first Astro to homer in his first two games. He ended the 2019 season hitting 313 with 27 home runs, 75 RBIs, and 313 at-bats, and was the ninth youngest ball player in the American League. Jordan was named the unanimous winner of the AL Rookie of the Year Award. Unfortunately, after the heights of 2019, Jordan would experience disappointment in 2020 because he tested positive for COVID-19 at the start of the season. But after just two games had to undergo arthroscopic surgery on both of his knees, shutting him down for the rest of the season. In 2021, Alvarez hit 277 and led the Astros with 33 homers and 104 RBIs. Alvarez was the ALCS MVP and hit 522 with 1.408 OPS, three doubles, one triple, one home run, six RBIs, and seven runs scored. However, he struggled in the World Series against the Braves by going two for 20 in the series. At the end of June 2022, Jordan is still raking with a 316 batting average, 23 home runs, and 56 RBIs. Number six. Alvarez had an historic rookie season. He became the fourth player in Major League Baseball history to hit four home runs in his first five career games when he homered off of Clayton Richard of the Toronto Blue Jays, joining Trevor Story, Yasiel Puig, and Mike Jacobs. He also became the first player in MLB history to drive in 16 runs in his first 12 games. On August 10th, Alvarez hit a grand slam and homered twice more at Camden Yards versus the Orioles for his first three home run game in a 23-2 romp. With a career-high seven runs driven in, his total stood at 51 to establish the major league record for the first 45 games. In the 2021 ALCS, his 522 average set a record for ALCS play, eclipsing Kevin Euclid's 500 average hit in 2007. This man is a history maker. Number five. Doing something special and never seen before in the sport, you're bound to pick up your share of haters and even some friendly skeptics. One sports radio host half joked, half charged that Alvarez had to be at least 30 years old and that there is no way he can look this imposing and be this good at age 22. Alvarez took the comment lightly by stating, well, everybody jokes about that. Even our teammates joke about that a lot. But I checked with my mom and she says that I am who I am and I'm my age, so I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> well... I guess if your Don's mom is good with it, uh, I guess we're good with it too. At least, I think so. Number four. Your Don Alvarez is endorsed by two of the most luxurious big brand names, Under Armour and Budweiser. Details about their contract layout have not been disclosed, but given their names, it is expected to be of a fairly high amount. Your Don is projected to rake in more corporate sponsors as his rise to stardom in baseball continues. Number three. The offer the Dodgers made to Alvarez that he could not refuse was for $2 million. Of course, he was traded to the Astros who signed him to a minor league deal. In the past four under this deal, Alvarez earned about $1.9 million. However, with his historic performances, Air Jordan has vastly outperformed his contract and in June 2022 was rewarded with an extension. The deal is reportedly worth six years, $115 million, along with a $5 million signing bonus. Alvarez will receive $7 million next season, $10 million in 2024, $15 million in 2025, and $26 million each year from 2026 to 28. It makes it the second largest contract in club history trailing only the five-year $151 million extension Jose Altuve received in March 2018. The man's hard work paid off big time. According to an estimate, his net worth is around $1.5 million, but we expect the figure to increase megafold in the next few years. Number two. Your Don Alvarez is beloved by his teammates. On the day of his signing of the massive extension, along with the media, Alvarez's Astros teammates filled the back of the room. They wanted to be there for their teammates' big moment because your Don Alvarez is your Don Alvarez. Jose Altuve spoke on behalf of the group stating, it's very important because it's a big day for him. He's happy, so we just decided to go there and support him. We all know how hard he's worked to get to this point. The whole team is happy for him. 
Altuve added, I think he's the best hitter I've ever played with. The former MVP and still heart and soul of these Astros says, it's amazing what he can do. Yes, Jordan is a remarkable hitter, but an even better person to get this kind of love from his teammates. Number one. Jordan Alvarez married his longtime crush and girlfriend, Monica Alvarez. In 2018, the duo got captured on camera, and on January 11th, 2020, Monica announced their engagement on her social media page. The engagement took place while Jordan and Monica were enjoying a vacation. Now the lovebirds are parents to two wonderful kids, named Mia and Jordan Alvarez. As for Jordan's father and mother, they returned to Cuba from the Dominican Republic shortly after he signed with the Dodgers in the summer of 2016. They have not seen him play in person or live on television because the games are not broadcast on the island. Almost every day, the father searches for videos of his son by scouring Facebook for videos of the Astros. He relies on talking to fans and catching highlights on sports shows that air in Cuba at noon and 9 p.m. Yet Alvarez and his father talk every day. While he would have been happy to see his son's greatness in person, he is just happy that Jordan is living his dream. What do you think of Jordan Alvarez's difficult road to the MLB? Do you think he will become a perennial MLB all-star? Let me know in the comments below, smash the like button, and subscribe for more premium sports-related content. Until next time.